This flirting went on for a while, and then the two kissed for the first time. The first time they kissed, like, I was sitting by her and I gave her a hug and she like, started kissing me, so I kissed her back. You kissed an elementary schooler? An elementary schooler? Yo. What's good YouTube? Today we're gonna be looking at the teacher who slept with her elementary school students. If you're a teacher, the whole point is for you to teach the students, not flirt with them. If you're watching this, make sure you guys join the Discord and make sure you guys join us on Twitch. We're live every day. And without further ado, let's get started. Do you remember a teacher who made a difference in your life? The one that pushed you to do your best, helped you to discover your purpose, or made you believe that you could do anything in the world? That's how important teachers are. But okay. what happens when the teacher you respect so much does something awful? Brittany Zamora was a teacher respected and loved by everyone. I already know there's gonna be people, even in my chat, that's gonna be like, where were these teachers when I was a kid? I wish that was my teacher. I'll admit, she looks good. But, nigga, it don't matter. You can't be taking advantage of little kids, nigga. Until the day she used her position of power to cross the line with one of her own students. Let's dive in. Brittany Zamora's life was perfect. She was beautiful, young, and had a bright future ahead of her. She graduated with honors from Arizona State University, okay. had okay. a promising career in teaching, and married her high school sweetheart, Daniel okay. Zamora, in a colorful wedding ceremony. So she been loving the high school life. Her husband is, is in, in high school. Now she's doing weird stuff in high school. And now she's a teacher in high school. Like, move on in life. Ceremony in 2015. Everything seemed to be going well for her. She was good at her job and was named Teacher of the Year a few times while at Littleton Elementary School in Avondale. She worked- wait, 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 wait. Elementary? No, no. I thought we were talking about high school. You're not in love with like eight-year-olds now, right? Well with students and everyone loved her. Her career seemed to be taking off when she got a new teaching job at Labrius Academy okay, okay. in Goodyear. But okay. it's here where everything would come crumbling down. It was the fall of 2017 and Brittany had been teaching at the school for about a year. Then one day she did something that would not only ruin her life but those of everyone around her. What's she she told doing? the students that she would be away from the school the following day and asked them to contact her if they got bored saying that she would also be bored. Just because your phone is dry you want it to be filled with high school students? Students, I'm not gonna lie. I know y'all niggas just get no hoes and you know if you ever want to call me um, just 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 let me know you know I'll, I'll, I'll answer i'll be bored we all know what being bored is code word for and one did hi miss samora he texted hi seemed innocent enough but would soon lead to something so disturbing that it would shock the entire nation okay i remember how it got like really intense but we would like flirt and like say like she would like be like oh yeah i love you and i would tell her i love her too. do y'all hear his voice he sounds like a child child and this is after the whole event so he probably didn't talk until a couple years later this flirting went on for a while, and then the two kissed for the first time. The first time they kissed, like, I was sitting by her and I gave her a hug, and she like, started kissing me, so I kissed her back. The relationship soon scaled up. You kissed an elementary schooler? An elementary schooler? To an alarming level. The boy would later tell police that their first encounter happened on February 16, 2018, when he visited his grandparents. Brittany okay. had gone there in the middle of the night, and the teen sneaked out to meet her. I went to her car, though. Like she parked at the other end of the street and she said, okay, I'm, I'm here. And then I just walked outside. Picking up a child is insane. In the classroom after a school talent show while another student was watching. I'm kind of like messing with her computer and then she's like kissing me and everything. And like, she was like, you wanna go in? And I was like, what? And she was like, you wanna go in? And I was like, you wanna go in where? I hope you're not talking about the, the cooch area. I don't know if we're on the same track here. Cause you wanna go in is kind of wild. Chat, the fact that she's like allowing like another kid to see as well. She, she's like, you know what, effing. I was like, sure, you know. The boy's friend would later tell police how uncomfortable he felt when he saw what the two were doing. They're just doing it. And it was very uncomfortable. So that's why the second day they're doing stuff. I just left it Brittany also had encounters with this other boy where she would make indecent comments, but it never went beyond that with him. As for the first boys, what'd she say? Like you for real get sexier than me every day. I want to F you so bad, baby. Those times weren't enough for me. Me neither, baby. I want you every day with no time limit. Yo, no, 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 no. You need to go to jail for life. Oh, fuck. So she was smashing these niggas. She was smashing them. She was having sex with them. As for the first boy, screenshots of their chats show that they were definitely risk. If I could quit my job and F you all day, I would. Really think about it. If I could quit my job that supports me and pays my bills. But she said she would smash a teen. She really that desperate? No, I don't think it's her being desperate. I really think it's just her being a pedophile. 
No, she likes children. Y'all saw how she looked. She could easily pull people of her age. Like, she just prefers children. It's gay. In one of them, Brittany said that she would quit her job so she could be with him all day. The two would also exchange love notes while in class, and soon other students noticed their weird interactions. The unusual closeness, inappropriate touching, and favoritism in the class led others to believe that there was something more going on between them. Three students brought their concern to the school principal, Mr. Timothy Dickey, who then started investigating. He talked to several students around the school to find if there was any truth to the rumor. When Brittany learned about this, Do y'all really think she's incapable of pulling like actual adults? She went running to the principal's office frantic and crying. She started crying eventually okay. and she said, you know, I don't know. The only two things I care about in my life were, you know, my husband and my career. And she smashing denied little having boys. a relationship with a student, and since the principal did not want to blow everything out of proportion, he decided to secretly investigate. But things did blow up. The boy's parents had started noticing some strange behavior from their son, so they installed a parental app on his phone to see what he was up to. The app would pick out certain words and send a notification to the parent's phone. Damn. His stepmother's phone was blowing up with notifications on the word baby. Yesterday I got the alert and I kept getting alerts back to back because the word baby kept being used. But this time I saw at the bottom that it had Mrs. Zamora. The fact that your Instagram user is your name, Mrs. Zamora, you want these children to find you. You want it to be easy for them to know who you are. Do you parents, yes. Do you parents for that tracking device on your child, but saying I want you to baby to a child? That seemed very weird, so she waited for her husband to come home from work, and they approached the teen and asked if he was sleeping with his teacher. Both my husband just told him, okay. have you done anything with your teacher? Did you have sex with your teacher? Mm -hmm. He then went Bro, his, his dad sounds like he's crying. If y'all were in the parents' position and, and you find out your child did that, if it was a man who did it, nigga, I'm beating that nigga ass. I technically can't beat a woman, so I'd probably get like my wife or something. Let it be a nigga. <laughs> Nigga, stop it, nigga out. I had to tell them everything that happened about the four times it happened at school and while he was at his grandparents' place. The parents were appalled by this shocking revelation. They had met and talked to Brittany on several occasions and she seemed like a good person. How could she do that to their innocent son? They called the school principal and told him everything their son had told them and then called the police. They also got a call from Brittany the same night begging them not to call the cops. Can we meet, you know, to talk about this? Is there something we can settle out, you know, outside? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what we can do so I can give you a chance to do it to some other kid. Yeah, that's exact. That's exactly what we're gonna do. That's exactly, no. He also told her that she should tell her husband what's going on. In a surprising tryst, Britney's husband already knew. And he picked up the phone and immediately started asking for forgiveness. On Your husband knew you were sleeping with kids and he allowed it? I've never seen a pet cuck in my life. This is the upgraded sneaker right here. This story is just getting wilder and wilder on her behalf. She's done so much and she made a huge mistake. The biggest mistake of anybody could ever make in the whole entire world. No, no, there's a mistake in this pit. Yeah. Do not try to undermine sleeping with little children, all right? That's not a that's not a small mistake or anything. So, but she think about God, God the boy's dad was hearing none of it and asked them never to contact him again and that the next time they hear from them, he will be in court. On March 22nd, 2018, Brittany was arrested and charged with multiple felonies, including preying on someone under the age of 18. A video recorded after her arrest shows Brittany sobbing when she was told she was going to jail. What are the next steps? Um, the next step is basically you, you do go to jail okay. tonight. Um, I submit some paperwork. I'm little. They're gonna tear me apart. The interrogator told her that she should report if there are any problems and she can be isolated. She later pleaded with the judge for leniency in setting her bond, saying she'd like to go home to her husband. I'd love to go home to my husband. At her sentencing hearing in July 2019, Brittany apologized for her behavior, saying she wasn't the monster everyone believed her to be. I am a good and genuine person who made a mistake and regrets it deeply. She told the court that her actions were out of character and wanted to seek counseling moving forward. This type of felony generally carries a maximum penalty of 44 years. However, Brittany got a minimum sentence of 20 years because she had no previous criminal records. Hey, them parents are stronger than me. Let me find out an adult teacher did all that weird shit. She probably got off because she looks good, bro. Pretty privilege in court is an actual real thing. They'll rip me to shreds in there. Maybe you should have thought about that when you was texting little boys. Doing it once is already crazy, but repetitively doing it, that is a behavior, nigga. Her screening also showed that she was unlikely to reoffend. The boy's father wrote a statement that his lawyer read in court to Brittany saying, 
Yeah, you spend the rest of your youth and most of your adulthood in jail. My son will grow up, have a good life, get married, and have children of his own. I will not allow you to interfere in my son's life further. Good triumphs over evil. The boy's parents also filed a civil lawsuit against Samora's husband and the school district. The lawsuit alleges that Daniel knew about the rumors for over a month before everything was exposed. The case against Daniel was settled outside of court for an undisclosed amount, but the suit against the school is still ongoing. Brittany is still serving her time at the Arizona State Prison Complex in Perryville. She won't be released okay. until she's in her 40s and will stay on probation for the rest of her life. A year after she was- Do y'all think the principal knew? Nah, he kind of weird. Cause you're telling me as a principal, no student has ever come up to you saying, hey, yo, she's kind of acting suspicious. I feel like the parent, uh, he knew, the principal knew. Yeah, I think he knew, he knew. And if he knew, that's the lawsuit of- Death, nigga, you know how much money they're gonna get? In prison, Brittany divorced her husband, even though he supported her all this while. It should have been the other way around. I mean, both of them are weird because he knew that she that she was sleeping with little kids, but he got divorced by her? Some people think she did it to protect him, while others speculate that she may have found someone in prison. As for the teen, the whole thing changed his life. His innocence was taken at such a young age that it may take a while to process everything. That's his true. family has also had to move to protect his privacy. It will probably take some time to get over what happened. But I hope that he'll one day recover from it. Damn, that was a crazy video. I ain't gonna lie. If that was a man that did it, how much is he getting? Life or death? 40, 80, 25, 40. I think he's getting at least, at least 40 years. But anyways, that YouTube, that does conclude the video. If you liked the video, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys join us on Discord. And make sure you guys join us on Twitch. Links in the description. YXL for life. Love y'all. And peace.